Brave. I'm Caillou. Today was one of Caillou's favorite days of the year, Valentine's Day. But he was nowhere to be found. Leo, here. Clementine, here. Caillou, Caillou. Happy Valentine's Day! Caillou had been chosen to be the class Cupid and deliver all of the Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> oh, hello, Cupid. My, don't you look great. My mom made me this costume to wear when I deliver all the cards. How lovely. Class, who wants to make Valentine's cards for Cupid to deliver? Me! 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 me, me. me. Everyone was having lots of fun decorating cards. They drew beautiful flowers, stuck heart-shaped pieces of paper to them, and covered them in shiny glitter. But Caillou was getting impatient. He just wanted to deliver them all now. Is everyone done yet? <laughs> Almost, Cupid. Don't worry. Now, you hold on to these, Caillou. You can deliver them after lunch. After lunch? Caillou ate his lunch as fast as he could. He was so excited to be Cupid. Finally! All right, everyone. Tidy your lunch boxes away, please. Careful, Caillou. There's no rush. Caillou just wanted to deliver the Valentine's cards as fast as he could. He thought waiting was very boring. It was finally time to give everyone their cards, and Caillou could hardly <laughs> contain himself. Caillou felt just like the real Cupid. Everyone loved their cards. And this one is for... Sarah! Thanks, Caillou. Caillou had had a lot of fun being Cupid for the day and giving everyone their cards, but he felt a little sad. There were no cards for him. What's wrong, Caillou? Everyone got Valentine's Day cards except me. Oh no, that's a shame. But did you enjoy being Cupid and celebrating the special day? Yeah, everyone really liked my Cupid costume. Oh, I'm sure they did. The important thing is that you all had fun. I guess. Caillou was still a bit sad that he hadn't received a Valentine's card, but the day wasn't over yet. This one is for you, Caillou. For me? <laughs> it must have gotten delivered here instead of at school. Look, Mommy, it's from Isabel. Caillou had enjoyed being Cupid for Valentine's Day and delivering the cards to everyone, but he really enjoyed receiving one, too. It was a very special day at Caillou's house because today was Mommy and Daddy's wedding anniversary. Caillou was helping Daddy make a special dinner to celebrate. Is it ready yet, Daddy? Almost, Caillou. Just a little while longer. Mmm, it smells yummy. Let's go into the garden, Caillou. We need to pick some vegetables to make a salad. Caillou looked at all the vegetables in the garden. There were lots to choose from. Which vegetables do we need, Daddy? First, we need a nice fresh head of lettuce. Can you see one? Caillou knew that a head of lettuce was round and had big green leaves. Here it is! I found it! Great job, Caillou! Ha! 
How about some juicy tomatoes? Right there! The little red ones! That's right! Okay, the last vegetable we need is a carrot. That's an easy one! Caillou knew that carrots were orange and pointy, but he couldn't see them anywhere. There are no carrots, Daddy! Look down here, Caillou. Carrots grow under the ground. See? Oh! That's where they were hiding! We'll need two carrots to make the salad. Can you pull out another one? I got it! <laughs> Great job, Caillou. That's everything we need. Let's go and see if Mommy needs any help. Mommy and Rosie were in the kitchen. Caillou was excited to show Mommy the carrot he had picked. Look, Mommy, a carrot! I pulled it out of the ground! It looks very tasty. It'll need washing before we can eat it, though. Do you want to help me set the table for our special dinner? Okay! Hold on a minute, Caillou. We have to wash our hands first. My hands are all messy. They're clean now. There we go. Much better. The fork goes on the left. Fork on the left. And the knife goes on the right. And the knife on the right. Nice job, Caillou. I'm all done making the salad, Caillou. Shall we go upstairs and get you changed into your nice clothes? Yay! Caillou liked dressing up in his nice clothes. They made him feel very important. Caillou had enjoyed the special dinner. Everything was so yummy. Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you very much. What is an anniversary, Mommy? An anniversary is a day to celebrate something special. It's been another year since Daddy and I got married. Oh! Daddy had bought Mommy a shiny gold necklace. Caillou thought that it was very beautiful. So pretty, Mommy. Pretty! I think you and Rosie deserve extra big slices of cake for being so helpful today. Caillou had loved the special dinner, especially the cake. It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> chugga, 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 choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? <laughs> Again! I know! How about we all play a game of hide-and-seek? Yay! I love hide-and-seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie, and Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea! Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. Okay, Caillou, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry. I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think I saw someone behind that tree. I found you. <laughs> well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket, enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! Mmm! I love watermelon! Oh, no! Oops! Don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box but they were all gone. Oh no, there's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh no, ants. They're on me, they're on me. Me too. It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide-and-seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. Caillou was going to a food fair in the park with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow! Look at all the food, Grandpa! That's right, Caillou. This is called a World Food Fair. The people here are making food from all different countries, Caillou. It's a great chance for you to try some food you might not have tasted before. Caillou could smell all kinds of unusual things, but he didn't know what they all were. What can you smell, Caillou? I'm not sure, but it smells yummy. Well, come on then. You lead the way. My tummy is starting to rumble. Well, hello there. How can I help you today? Hello, this is my grandson, Caillou. He's going to try some food from around the world. Well, Caillou, you've come to the right place. Have you tried a taco before? Caillou thought about all the nice food Mommy and Daddy made for him at home, but he couldn't remember having tried a taco before. I don't think so. What is it? A taco has a hard, crunchy shell on the outside and a tasty filling on the inside. Mmm. Well, that settles it. One taco, please. Here you go, Caillou. Now be careful, Caillou. Make sure you don't squeeze it too hard. Oh, dear. Caillou's taco had broken. It had looked so yummy, and he didn't even get to try one bite. That can happen with tacos. Here, have another one on the house. Thank you! Remember to be careful this time. Try not to squeeze it so hard. Caillou held the taco very carefully in his hands and took a bite. Mmm, it's really good! Caillou thought that tacos were very tasty, and he liked the way the outside crunched. It's crunchy! Here, try some! Okay, Caillou, where to next? A woman at the next stall was stirring something in a large metal pot. Caillou wondered what it could be. Hello, this is Caillou. He is trying different food today. Very nice to meet you, Caillou. What are you stirring? It's a curry. Curry is a very popular food in a country called India, and it's full of all kinds of interesting spices. This one is spicy, and this one is mild. 
Caillou hadn't heard of India or curry before. India? Where's that, Grandpa? <laughs> India is a country on the other side of the world, Caillou. Can we have one spicy and one mild, please? Thank you. I'll try the spicy one. Mmm, just right. Caillou noticed that Grandpa's face had started to turn red. What's the matter, Grandpa? <laughs> that spicy curry is too hot for your Grandpa, Caillou. Here, try this. It's a drink made with yogurt called a lassi. It'll help you cool your mouth down. <laughs> Thank you. That's much better. That spicy curry sounds scary. Caillou wanted to try all of the food, but he didn't want to eat anything too spicy. Don't worry, Caillou. This one is only a tiny little bit spicy. I promise. Caillou felt a little tingling in his mouth from the spices, but it didn't make his face turn red like Grandpa. It's not too spicy at all. I think I should have the mild one next time as well. Thank you for the curry. Hello. Care to try some sushi? Mmm, my favorite. Sushi? That's right. Sushi is from a country called Japan. It's usually made with rice and raw fish. Caillou didn't like the sound of raw fish one bit. Raw fish? Yuck! Can we have three pieces, please? One for me, one for Grandma, and one for Caillou. Give it a try. You never know. It might be your new favorite. It's too weird. I can't eat it, Grandpa. That doesn't matter, Caillou. Different people like different foods. I know. How about you and Grandma go find a picnic bench, and I'll bring you something I know you'll love. Grandpa had brought Caillou something, but he was keeping it a secret. What have you got, Grandpa? You'll have to guess. Caillou liked guessing. Okay. What if I told you that it's made by mixing flour, eggs, and water? Okay. Well, what if I told you that this food comes from a country called Italy? Oh, I know! Pizza! Almost. How about if I told you that this was your most favorite food in the world? Caillou knew what Grandpa was hiding. It's spaghetti! That's right! That is my favorite! Yummy! Caillou had lots of fun trying the different kinds of food at the fair, but he really loved his spaghetti. It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake! Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First, we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go. Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops. How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! Caillou wanted to skip a stone, too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work! How did you make it bounce, Mommy? <laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? 
That's perfect. Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou. Froggy! <laughs> oh, look! Rosie's found a frog. We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun. The tent is back up. Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay. Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy! Don't eat it! It's mine! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Hmm, it's all gooey inside. Wow, what was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already.